Hello LEGO fans, it's Michael from FX Bricks. FX Bricks is about to start a new and exciting chapter in our history. I'd like to take a few moments to basically reach out and explain what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we got here. So on March 1st, 2021, FX Bricks will be launching the first of many new products in our FX Track system, a system of L-gauge compatible metal tracks for LEGO train fans. The FX Track system aims to reset the whole experience of running your LEGO trains by bringing back all the technical advantages of running your trains on metal rails. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with what has happened in the world of LEGO trains and why this matters, here's a quick history rundown. LEGO trains were introduced in the late 1960s with the familiar blue plastic rails and bright red wheels. During the 1970s, the LEGO train theme evolved with a broad range of sets as well as the introduction of battery-powered locomotives and clever accessories to enhance the playability of trains. The end of the 1970s is the dawn of what many consider to be the golden era of LEGO trains, the so-called 12-volt era. This coincided with many other exciting changes that were occurring in the LEGO system at the time, including the introduction of the much-beloved minifigure and the introduction of exciting new themes like space and, of course, the amazing Technic system. The 12-volt era impacted every aspect of the LEGO train theme. Starting with the track, although still built with plastic rails, the rails were now specially clipped to the ties for greater durability and were rendered in a pleasing neutral color scheme of light and dark gray. Although battery powered trains were still part of the system, the 12 volt era earned its name from the introduction of the first track powered trains. This consisted of two additional metal rails placed between the running rails. What really made the 12 volt era so exciting and iconic was the incredible range of sets and accessories that were available. Trains were not just sold in fixed sets, you could add individual wagons and locomotives, as well as stations and level crossings. By the end of the 1980s, the release of LEGO train sets had slowed. Also, a new system of 9-volt electrical accessories was being phased into the LEGO system. This resulted in yet another change in the era for LEGO trains. The 1991 introduction of the 9-volt era is perhaps the most dramatic. Starting with the track, which up until this point had been made with separate elements for both the rails and the ties, was now redesigned as a monolithic component with the ties and the rails molded together. There are three distinct features of 9-volt track which transform it beyond a collection of LEGO parts into something that looks and feels like regular model train track. Number one, the rail profile itself changed from a simple inverted T-shape to a representation of a typical tapered flat bottom rail section used in real life train track. Number two, instead of using the awkward four rail system to deliver power to trains, the running rails were redesigned to deliver power instead. This was achieved by crimping a U-shaped metal channel to the top of the plastic rail. Number three, joining adjacent tracks was now achieved with a new interlocking connector. This latching click fit system of interconnect offered a reliable and durable way of keeping tracks together. Taken together, these changes could have formed the basis of an exciting and new era in LEGO trains. Unfortunately, due to many factors impacting LEGO and the broader toy and entertainment market at the time, the 9-volt LEGO era languished and never really reached what we believe to be its full potential. By the early 2000s, LEGO's financial difficulties and its gradual loss of focus forced LEGO to make dramatic changes in restructuring. The impact for LEGO trains was the controversial retirement of the metal 9-volt track system and more broadly the 9-volt electrical accessory range. The replacement was an all-plastic track system, with the implicit regression to battery-powered trains. To LEGO's credit, the new plastic track system, often called RC track, maintained compatibility with the 9-volt track it replaced by retaining the same rail profile, geometry, and track end connectors. So after that not-so-brief history, that brings us to today. Since joining this hobby 10 years ago, I've been truly fascinated with how LEGO bricks can become the medium to build stunning scale model trains. Models that often prompt the question, is that really LEGO? However, coming from the scale model train world, I recognize some immediate shortcomings and gaps in the LEGO train operating experience, things that I took for granted in other model train scales. There are three key shortcomings. Number one, power from the track. How many times have LEGO train fans been let down by the use of batteries? Whether it's not having replacements, or waiting for lengthy recharge cycles, or simply not having enough room inside a locomotive or train to put the battery box. 
the advantage of delivering effectively limitless power through the track is a benefit which cannot be overstated. Number two, choice for track elements. If you survey virtually any model train track system, it offers a diverse range of straight, curve, and switch track elements. This diversity gives more creative options for designing layouts, and in the case of larger radius curves, improves both the aesthetic and smooth running characteristics of trains. Number three, control. Metal track gives you more choice when it comes to operating your trains. Whether it's simple but effective variable voltage speed control, or using existing remote control products like the PFX brick without the use of a battery box, or exploring the possibilities offered by established digital control systems such as the industry standard NMRA DCC standard. We at FX Bricks are really excited for the future of this hobby. Starting March 1st, 2021, we will start selling the S32 double straight track. This will be followed in a few weeks by the R72 curve track, and a few weeks after that, the R88 curve track. By summer 2021, we hope to show pre-production samples of the gorgeous and long-awaited P40 switch track. By the end of 2021, we hope to bring LEGO Train fans an all-new high-performance motor bogey, the first of several motor bogies and motor drive options available from FX Bricks. This will close the loop on a complete solution for operating your trains on metal tracks. For our European Union customers, FX Bricks is really excited to announce that we have partnered with JB Spielwaren in Germany to offer fixed flat rate shipping for all the European Union. We hope the debut of the FX track system will offer LEGO train fans new options for building amazing layouts with more track elements to choose from and reliable power and control 